30 new details in a Target 12 consumer investigation we've been tracking for more than a year. The FDA is now warning people not to use some Claire's makeup after samples tested positive for asbestos. And the warning comes after the company refused to recall the products. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Susan. Mike and Caroline, the local mom who first raised concerns about the safety of Claire's makeup, tells me she's relieved the federal government is taking this seriously. She says this warning is important for all families. Now we're doing the blush. Christiana Warner's daughter used to love playing with makeup from Claire's. But back in 2017 on a hunch, Christiana had the makeup tested through the law firm where she worked. The results came back positive for asbestos, a known carcinogen shock. You're just shocked. The firm tested several additional products. The results were the same. Following our report in 2017, Claire's pulled some of its makeup from store shelves, but continued to refute the test results. So the FDA did its own testing and just confirmed what Christiana has believed for more than a year. There's asbestos in several Claire's products, eyeshadow, powder, and this contour kit. It feels good to know that there is somebody out there that genuinely is concerned about the consumer safety. Claire's refuses to recall the makeup and the FDA can't force a recall, but the federal agency did issue a strong warning about the products. The cosmetic industry has been allowed to completely self-regulate. Attorney John Deaton says that self-regulation isn't working. When you think about the talc manufacturing process, it's only the pulled it out of the ground and pulverized it, right? So if that ground has asbestos too, you're going to get contamination. If they decide they don't have to test, they don't have to test. Now the FDA says it plans to collect information on how companies confirm their talc products are asbestos free. The agency is also asking companies to voluntarily register their cosmetics. In a statement, a spokesperson for Claire said the company believes its products are safe, but said out of an abundance of caution, it's removing all talc based cosmetics from its stores. The company also said the recent test results the FDA have shared with us to show sig show significant errors. Despite our efforts to discuss these issues with the FDA, they insisted on moving forward with their release. We are disappointed that the FDA has taken this step and we will continue to work with them to demonstrate the safety of our products. But obviously there are going to be a a lot of families with concerns about this so the company said customers who have concerns can return any talc based cosmetic to the store. All right. All right. Thank you Susan. Good to know.